Therefore, since the promise of entering His rest still stands, let us be careful that none of you have been found to have fallen short of it. For we also have had the good news proclaimed to us just as they did. But the message that they heard was of no value to them because they did not share the faith of those that obeyed. Now we who have believed enter that rest just as God has said. So I declared on oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. And yet, His works have been finished since the creation of the world. For somewhere He has spoken of the seventh day in these words. On the seventh day, God rested from all His works. And again, in the passage above, He says, They shall never enter my rest. Therefore, since it still remains for some to enter that rest, and since those who formerly had the good news proclaimed to them did not go in because of their disobedience, God again set a certain day, calling it today. This He did when a long time later He spoke through David, as in the passage already quoted, today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not have spoken later about another day. There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from His. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish from following their example of disobedience. For the Word of God is alive and sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of Him to whom we must give account. Therefore, since we have a great High Priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one that has been tempted in every way, just as we are. Yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need.